Matt Walter turns the corner, takes a pop, still stays on his feet at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touchdown. There's Matt Walter. Walter's into the end zone for the touchdown. That's Walter. That's a touchdown. University of Calgary. You know, geographically, the transition wasn't much, just a walk down the hall. I mean, there's always learning every day, but it definitely started off pretty heavy at the beginning. But once you get used to it and get, get hit around a few times in games there, it gets, uh, it gets just like any other football game, just got to feel it. Everyone's pretty fast. Everyone's more disciplined. Everyone's better coached. I mean, it's just a, it's just the next level. And, uh, you know, it definitely takes, uh, if you have any weaknesses, you get exposed. So it takes definitely high level of, you have to be prepared and high level of intensity just to compete. Well, there's no better feeling than uh, you know being able to hold the trophy above your head, no matter what trophy it is. And if it's a conference championship, you know, so what? It's still it's still a championship, and uh, having that happen is just one of the greatest feelings you can get. And I'm glad I had the guy to share it with. It's just because I was able to see the program grow and uh, start from really a, a losing program to a program that's now you know the heavyweight in the conference and in the nation. So that, just seeing the growth alone was uh, rewarding for me and there's also a lot of individual moments. Playing two many cups obviously was a big deal for me. So uh, it was definitely a very rewarding experience. Glad I got to play at UC. Whether I was in the university or in the pros, the backup or the starter, I always train as hard as I can. You know, always be ready for any opportunity that comes. So uh, nothing's really changed in that regard. It's just more actually just keeping it up, you know, not getting complacent and uh, getting in there every day. I try to set the bar as high as possible. I've always had that mindset. So, you know, in my mind, I feel I can be a starter in this league at some point. Obviously, not anytime soon. But uh, at some point in the future, I mean, I can see myself playing a starter role. And uh, for now, just, you know, doing whatever the coaches tell me to do, constantly improving, building, and uh, for now, just, you know, getting out there and playing special teams. Just being able to represent for my city. I uh, grew up here, went to school here, university here, so it's nice to be able to play for my pro team. And, uh, you know, for me, it's all about just keep on climbing and see how far I can get. And, uh, you know, if I can stay in this city my whole career, I'd love that. I started playing football when I was seven years old, and I, I got out to McMahon when they had the AstroTurf, and I remember looking up at the speaker hanging there and wondering if it was going to fall on me. At that point, I was like, man, ah, it'd be pretty cool to be playing in this stadium as a pro. And, uh, you know, I just kind of got that stuck in my head and just uh, did whatever it took to get to this level. And now, for me, it's just keep building, keep climbing.